Hey, what's going on with it once again? Ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls especially, it's the one and only, of course, Mr. <coughs> Sorry about that, I was having a little itch right here and I was coughing, I don't know what it was. It's the one and only, of course, Mr. Chris is in Guy 2009, aka Nintendo Switch for 2011, and of course, Nintendo Anime Man Guy 360, back again with another movie review, which, um, this came out about four weeks ago. I was either going to watch Maleficent or 22 Jump Street, which I heard a lot of amazing funny ass comedic reviews i've seen a lot of people on youtube do a lot of um, movie reviews for 22 jump street i've seen a lot of people laugh on it a lot of people gave it a's and b's a few people probably thought it was shit but me i haven't seen it yet so um whatever i'll probably just wait till it's on blu-ray dvd it was either this or maleficent so i just beside, yeah maleficent because a lot of people call it maleficent now so uh and i haven't seen a movie with angela and jolie in about four years the last time i saw her in the movie was evelyn salt that one or she's like a secret agent or whatever. And then the second one, the tours with Johnny Depp, which... And I'm almost kind of crap a little bit. You know, she looks beautiful, sexy shit. A lot of people know, especially men, um, know she's one of the most beautiful fucking women in the world, literally. Um, Especially during the 90s. I remember when I was in my 90s kids days. You know, besides liking Pokemon, the shit out of that. I used to love Jurassic Park a lot back in the day. A lot of anime blew up a lot back in that day. Even though it was like the early, mid-80s when it first came out. Of course, I wasn't born until 89, so... Uh, not gonna get into all that shit, but yeah. Uh, I probably had my first wet dream, I'm not gonna lie. Be, me being the perpy little 90s kid and 2000s perverted teenager I was at that time, extremely fucking um, disrespectful towards women, unfortunately, because I, I admire by their bodies. I was very extremely lustful little horny teenager and a horny little kid at that time, of course. Until I got late and I was about 19 or something, so about six, seven years ago, thank goodness. Because if not, uh, I probably would have went insane and crazy. So, uh, <laughs> there's that um, speculation thrown out the window. So, yeah. Um, I used to remember, I used to hear Angelina Jolie's name so fucking much. Back when I was like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. Pretty much the whole lifespan of my 90s for like 1996 to 99. Because that's the only remembrance I have in the 90s. Unfortunately, I don't really don't remember the other five. Because, you know, I was still a baby, obviously. For like 91 to 94, 95. Once I was around 96, I started remembering shit. That, that's just me. Everyone, other, every other person's brain out there, it functions differently. Not one brain is the same. I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, without all this rambling bullshit, it's starring this one right here, Maleficent. I actually went to go see this this past Saturday one of my roomies. Awesome shit. The other ones wanted to go see Neighbors with Seth Rogen, but the reason I didn't go see Neighbors is because Zach Ef Efron was not He's one of my least favorite actors. Plus, let's face it, the first time I saw that fucker, he was annoying as fuck. I'm sorry. Zac Efron, he's kind of a piece of shit. I don't like him very much. Something about his aura that's kind of crap. I never really gave a shit about him too much. Especially him coming from that old shitty-ass Disney movie fucking high school musical. Fucking joke. It's stupid as fuck. Typical blonde hair, blue eye, white little piece of shit. That's why I never gave a fuck about Zac Efron. He's kind of like an older version of Justin Bieber. That's why I never really gave a fuck about Zac Efron and his acting. Because... He's that typical type type of jerk-off piece of shit in a lot of his movies, you know? That's why I never gave a fuck about him. So sorry for you girls that love the shit out of Zac Efron. He's just, he's annoying as fuck, you know? Maybe if he would have been like, you know, Channing Tatum or um, Matthew McConaughey, a really cool, funny, you know, even if he's a good-looking, gorgeous-looking dude for a lot of women, you know, at the same time, he can entertain dudes, you know? He could be a more badass macho guy, you know? And Channing Tatum, he just hits the nail on the head for everything, you know? Not only does he just do little romance and shit like that, he does a lot of action, comedy. He's doing a sci-fi movie with um, Mila Kunis, um, Jupiter Sunday. I thought that was going to come out next week, August, next year, August, September. It's actually coming out this year, July, next month. And I'm going to try to see if I can see that. But unfortunately, um, I got some big news. I might or may not say it here. I'm probably going to say it on my Twitter instead. I've been getting almost 100 different followers on my Twitter account. And uh, that has nothing to do with this video. But without further ado, let's begin with this shit. Maleficent, Maleficent. It stars this other girl named Ellen Fanning and the dude that was in um, District 9. A really badass alien movie. I forgot what his fucking name was. Shit. He has like an Irish, Scottish, or like a, a Yugoslavian, European, Romanian accent. I'm not sure which one it is. It kind of sounds like a cross between those four like European accents a little bit. All I know is he's from Europe. Yeah, there's that. But yeah, without further ado, you see Angelina Jolie in the front looking like Maleficent. Let's get this bitch started. And um, yeah, let's begin. See, so yeah, I'm Maleficent, starring Angelina Jolie, Ella Fanning as um, Aurora, the one that plays Sleeping Beauty. And um, let's see, the, the Irish Scottish dude, I couldn't remember his name from District 9. That's the only three people's names, or not names, people that I can think of in this movie that took, stole, the, stole the show in this movie. So obviously, um, oh, and before I begin this, um, 
video is brought to you by La La Leche. Really cool ass Latino shit. All my Latino Mexicanos out here. Viva mi gente, viva la raza and shit. You know, ya tu sabes, wey. No me diga ese, pero like, um, es muy, muy te gusta, you know. Boss as fuck, you know. Eh? It was muy delicioso, maricón. Seriously. <laughs> You know, there goes my Spanish um, techniques for you. I really don't speak it that much, but I am aware of it. I do know of it, okay? So, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, dale. Just like fucking Pitbull says. <laughs> Which I really can't stand him, even though he's Cuban and shit. But that's a whole other video. So, yeah. This video is brought to you by La La Leche. Really good ass Mexican yogurt. Bad fucking ass. Highly suggest you get this shit. Especially if, even if you're white or black, you know, if you're dating a Latino dude or Latina chick. You want to make them fall in love with you? Buy this shit. They will love you instantly. Any Latino chick or Latino guy, if you're black or white girl or whatever, if you're dating Hispanic, give them this shit. They will shut up immediately. This is our crack cocaine. Um, just pretty much average plain Kroger water. Buy, buy, of course, power. And I haven't gotten this in a while. White cherry. Um, I got to get this a lot more often because this is like my third favorite besides the green one or the blue one, purple one. And uh, last but not least, Subway. I actually had a little bit of a teriyaki chicken. I was going to go to Wendy's. Shout out to um, fucking Digibrony, a.k.a. Digibro or Colby. Um, he does a lot now. He does a lot of My Little Pony stuff. He's usually on my Nintendo Sony Free 2011 channel, but he's not here today. So, um, oh, but I'm not mentioning that much today. But I will say he did this inter not interview, a review of the Wendy's pretzel. Um, what was it? Wendy's pretzel chicken sandwich. That shit looks boss as fuck. I know I might have GMO and shit and all that from alternative media shit, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm trying that shit out about this Friday or Saturday if it's still limited time because I think it's going to be two three weeks when it's in Wendy's again because. About three, four years ago, I think it was 2009 or 10 when it came out, but I really want to try that shit. All right, enough of that fucking um, advertising bullshit. We're here to see Maleficent. What did I think of this shit? So, uh, Maleficent, obviously Angelina Jolie, she stole the show. Very amazing shit. I saw this in 3D, by the way. My fucking God, one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever seen in a film. Even though it's four weeks old now, I still love the ever-loving shit out of it. I love the fuck out of this movie. Um, acting was amazing. It was professional, top of the line, you know. Whatever you call it. Even though you, you expected the Disney movie. So, I obviously... <laughs> there was a couple little kids in there. Like, I had to see... Well, not, not my nieces or nephew, no. But not, it was about 40, 50 um, little boys and girls. Especially a lot of girls that wanted to go see Maleficent. Because, obviously, it's a Disney movie. Any Disney movie, you're going to expect to have little crying babies and brats. Luckily for me, I went to a movie theater. There was no crying little babies or fucking brats. A lot of them were very mature. Thank fucking God for that shit. So yeah, woo, dodge the bullet there, you know. Um, lucky for me, I wasn't the only grown adult that was there. I didn't give a fuck because I always loved the shit out of Disney, especially in my '90s kids' years. It was just a beautiful fucking thing to get into, you know. A lot of people grew up with Disney, even if they're 70, 80, fucking 90 years old. When Snow White, fucking the original Sleeping Bells in the 1940s, 1950s, that's way before I was even alive. So Disney's been around since what, 1905, 1910, long time ago. So. Pretty much two and a half centuries. That's how long it's been around. But yeah, I'm not here to talk about that. But other than that, I'm Maleficent. What can I say about it? And uh, let me get my drink now because um, so I could tell you what I what I thought about it 100% as a whole. It's a movie, of course. But yeah, I'm Maleficent. What can I say? You know, um, obviously Maleficent was a really beautiful movie. It's obviously supposed to be based off of the 1959. I think that's what it was. Yeah. 1959 Sleepy Beauty, the only difference is they're not talking about Aurora as a Sleeping Beauty princess. They're actually tra talking about Maleficent side. And um, I thought it was a really good concept. The live action Jolie does, the way she just puts the shit, out, shit down is just absolutely, tremendously beast as fuck. It's a boss. It's epic as hell. One of the greatest Disney movies I've seen in a long time. Um, last two Disney movies I saw were animation was Wreck-It Ralph and Unfrozen. Of course, they were really awesome as shit, too, because they were obviously 3D. I know Big Hero 6 is coming out, so I know a lot of ki little kids are going to want their parents to go take them to see that. Obviously, I got money for myself. I can go to the movies whenever the fuck I want. But that's another thing I'm going to get at the end of the video. Not right now, though. But um, I will say this. Um, it pretty much starts out with this enchanted forest or whatever. And, like, it's pretty much with Angelina Jolie as a little girl. But, of course, it's not her as a little girl. Some other girl, a little actress girl that's playing her as a young Maleficent. That was real cute. That was adorable and everything. I liked the crap out of it. It was cool. Um, she meets this dude named Stefan or Stefan, Stefan. <coughs> oh, sorry, that teriyaki um, subway thing has got me a little um, bloated. <laughs> but yeah, I will say this: um, really fucking amazing acting uh, from her side of the part. She meets this guy named Stefan or a boy named Stefan. They end up 
being really curious of each other. She's, Maleficent sees Stefan as a little bit of a threat, but at the same time, she starts falling in love with him. They progressively, you know, make love. Well, not make love, obviously. This is a Disney movie. This isn't rated R. No, that shit. This ain't no porn shit. Yeah, they start kissing and stuff. They hug and everything, you know. Typical tradi traditional Disney stuff, you know. If you see an old school Disney movie, you know what I'm talking about. I grew up when, um, the 90s period when Disney was making, what, Little Mermaid, Aladdin, um, the Jungle Book. No, not the Jungle Book. That was the 70s, 80s. So, um, yeah, Beauty and the Beast, um, early 2000s when they made Lilo and Stitch. Um, what else? Two other Disney movies I'm trying to think of. Mulan, that was a real big late 90s, um. Um, Disney hit Pocahontas. I grew up in that era of Disney when it was starting to get a lot more bigger than it already was. Especially in the animation department. Like Toy Story and Toy Story 2 coming out in my 90s kids years. I was a fanatic fanboy 90s kid when I used to fucking watch Toy Story 1 and 2. Literally fucking religiously. I would absolutely love the shit out of that film. I can, cannot even stress it enough. I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen. I might be 25 now but... Back when I was 9, 10 years old, I loved the fucking crap out of that 90s shit. I couldn't get enough of it. It was my crack cocaine literally on a stick, but in a movie form, in an animation form. Of course, I loved my anime. I loved my dress apart. I loved my other things like video games, on music, and shit like that one. Just techno trance. I didn't get into rap and hip-hop until later. That was a lot more later, 04 or 05. That's when more I was in my 2000s teen years. But other than that, let's keep it moving. So Angelina Jolie, she does a really tremendous job. After those two, they start kissing. They fall in love and everything. You know, true love's first kiss, that type of shit or whatever. I was like, I don't really buy into that propaganda shit. But you know what? It is what it is. That's my alternative media stuff. But other than that, um, yeah, well, after that, she gets older. She becomes Angelina Jolie. She's probably like 20, 30-something now. And in real life, she's almost 40 years old. I thought she was 48, 49 almost, but no. She's almost 40. She's like 39, I think. Um, ugh, sorry about that, I think. Uh, crack my bones a little bit. Shake it all up. Loose. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just being stupid. But other than that, um, where the fuck was I? Yeah. Well, Angelina Jolie, she was a really amazing, tremendous performance on her behalf. I cannot stress that enough. She was amazing. She was beautiful, like always. I always loved the shit out of beautiful and sexy as fuck that girl, Angelina Jolie. Was one of the most beautiful fucking white girls in the fucking world. I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, no offense to white girls. But other than that, um, yeah, what else can I say? Yeah, after a while, like, he wanted power. He wanted to be, like, ambitious. He wanted to have a goal to become the king of, um, the, the Disney world that he was growing up in, Stefan. And after that, um, Maleficent, Maleficent, however you want to say it, um, she ends up, like, um, being heartbroken because he hasn't, he hasn't, like, come back to the fairy garden forest or whatever, the fairy realm, the fantasy fairy realm or whatever. No fairy tale reference anime thing. Um, <laughs> no pun intended there. Um, but I will say this, um, that chick is fucking amazing as shit, I will tell you that, I know I keep saying I will tell you that, just fucking deal with it, um, <laughs> now what else can I say about it, Stefan was really fucking amazing, um, when he got older, he ended up being that dude from District 9, I forgot what his fucking name was, it's on the tip of my tongue, he was that European dude, or whatever, actor, but he's really fucking cool too, um, he ends up working for the king, and ended up having a war fight, as they always do. Um, Angelina Jolie, she just kicks the crap out of every soldier out there, the human soldier. And he says, she says, um, walk no farther. This is as far as you will go to thy kingdom. And she kind of had like a little bit of a, I don't want to say British, but some old school like medieval 11, 1200 AD like type of accent. When she says, go no farther. You will cross no more to this forest or whatever, you know. Kind of that type of thing. I don't know she was working with. It's all good. Um, and then after that, she ends up sending an army of minions of giant trees on legs. I was thinking, what? Is this, um, um what's his name? I can't, uh, what was it? Patrick something. What was it? Damn! Forgot his fucking name. The one that made Lord of the Rings. The original Lord of the Rings before The Hobbit. Peter Jackson. Is this like a Peter Jackson's, um, Lord of the Rings reference or something? I don't know what the fuck it was. But anyways... Moving on, she uses her big, giant, beautiful, amazing, sexy hawk wings. As I like to call them, hawk eagle wings. They're awesome as shit. With the little, like, point things tipping on. It looks boss as fuck, I'm not going to lie. I will say this. Um, she um, she definitely kicks a lot of ass. Um, she has a lot of maneuvers and everything. Of course, there was a lot of CGI screening going on. I could see a little of the glitches, a small bit of it. So it wasn't top of the line, top of the line CGI, but it was still good as fuck. Nevertheless, with these babies right here. Um... What else can I say? Um, the chick was awesome as fuck. Um, 
Stefan wasn't there not until later. Stefan. And then the king almost gets killed. Angelina Jolie almost puts a sword to his fucking neck and almost kills him. He says, I should let you live. But until then, if you ever ruin this um, cross pass with me, I will slay thee and put thy knight down thy throat or neck or some shit. I don't know. It's just something very epic as shit like that. And she lets him live. She gives him a warning. She could have just ended his life there and boom. Now, we're going to see a death in Disney? No way. you got to be kidding me. But other than that, um, because, you know, most of it's aimed towards children. But a lot of people that grew up with it, like me, like I said, 70, 80, 90-year-olds grew up with Disney. And they still know what that shit is like. So it's been around for a long-ass fucking time. So um, what else can I say? Um, Shit. Uh, What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, yeah, after that, Stefan, he ends up going on this thing, making his mission to, like, rip the wings off, like, tear them off literally with his bare hands and like this big giant sword he was gonna use a sword but he ends up using this like carving shape thing it looks like this and then like mix it with these glasses right here and it's like this um this shredder thing that goes like this and then he slices it like that to her wings and he ends up making his mission to try to destroy and kill Maleficent but he doesn't really he just rips off her wings and it sucks because she was starting to fall in love with him all over again after getting me into the forest and I felt so bad for Maleficent, man. That sucked. Like, she had her wings ripped off from her, and then she started crying. She was like, no, no, what have I done with thy wings? No! It's like, literally, I was a grown-ass man like me, crying almost. I was almost in tears when I saw that shit. But I sucked up, say, hey, I'm not going to be all emotional. It's just a movie. Relax, okay? Just relax. Sit. Relax, CGO man. Criticism guy. Come on. Get it together, you know? So I just sucked it up, but maybe if they get something more dramatic, then I'll cry more. I don't know. But other than that, um, yeah, what happens is I feel so bad for her. The way she screams, you just feel her pain. I was like, no, why did you do that to her? Oh, I just wanted to go in there and kick the crap out of him so bad. Just bitch slap him across the face. And then he ends up running away. He looks like this little Robin Hood suit. And after that, um, he ends up presenting the dead wings of used to be Maleficent um, to the king. And he ends up dying after that. His dying wish is that he wants somebody to marry his daughter and shit like that. Yada, 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 yada. And they ended up having a baby. And then a lot of you people probably seen the previous for a couple months ago when it was still brand new. And last year, when she said, I too will have a gift for the child. Unfortunately, I had to run out to the bathroom for like five minutes because I had to take a huge ass crap. I know it's disgusting too much info, I know. But I had a huge ass fucking Taco Bell dinner before I fucking went to the movies, which is a stupid ass fucking idea. I usually do that after I get out the movies, but... Some reason I did it before. I don't know why. I had the huge ass munchies for some reason. I didn't smoke weed or nothing either. Even though I say, oh, don't smoke weed and um, drink at the same time in my videos at the end. But you know what it is. But yeah, after that, um, yeah, um, he becomes King Angelina Jolie says, yes, I have, I too have a gift for the child. And they make her look so cartoony, but she's so cool. She's a boss, you know? Oh, yeah, and after that, they show her how she makes her giant kingdom and everything. She has this crow. She saves it from these... This dog and this human that's going to beat the crap out of the crow. She turns it into a human. It's like, oh my god, witchcraft, demonology, demonology, whatever, demonology, and all that shit, you know, Illuminati shit. And then, you know, pfft, quote unquote, um, I know, I know, I fucking know. I know so many people that watch my alternative media shit, they're wondering, like, oh, why did you watch this Freemason, this Illuminati, subliminal message, like, Disney thing? I know Disney's notorious for that shit. But you know what? I decided to watch anyways, all right? Fucking sue me, okay? I gotta have fun once in a while, you know? Because like I said, when I talk about alternative media too much, I get stressed the fuck out and I might not do it again, all right? And that's something I gotta make clear. Next year, I might not do them anymore. I'm just saying. Starting next year, who knows? But, um, because I'll be 26 by January 29th, and it's gonna be crazy as fuck. Phew, life is going by quick, people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is. But other than that, what else can I say? Um... Yeah, he ends up like, um, he's like, no, I please, I beg with you, please don't give this curse, like, sleep like death to my daughter, Aurora. Hola. And afterwards, eventually, um, yeah, shit hits the fan. She ends up, like, putting the three pixies, which I think one of them was from that James Mom movie, the one with Daniel Craig, 007. The last two ones that he did, which was, um, Skyfall, and this other one I'm trying to remember. Ah. Uh. Not gold member. That was the 50s, 60s one. I don't remember what it was, but you know Daniel Craig already. That British actor that's really fucking professional as when he plays James Bond's voice. Not voice. His um, acting, like, persona, whatever. Freaking awesome. And, his, and gets in the character and all that shit. I think the old lady that he works for, Judy Dench, she was one of the little mini CGI character pixie fairies. 
and she was real nice and everything, but she didn't like Maleficent that much. In a way, they were kind of like rivals, Maleficent and the three little mini fairies, because they wanted to bring peace and harmony to the humans and the fairies and the fantasy creatures, so they can all live in peace instead of just them fighting and, not raging, waging war against each other. And then after that, I could sort of see what, coming, what was coming there. I know it's starting to get darker, so forgive me on that, people. My next three videos, I was going to say two. My next three videos, I'm going to be doing my Nintendo Free 2011. I'm going to be doing the E3 things, finally, after two and a half weeks of it being over. About the Xbox One, Microsoft Conference, the PlayStation, Sony Conference, and the Nintendo Wii U Conference. I'm going to be doing all three of those either to, later today or tomorrow. I was going to do Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but I didn't have enough time. I had to go to work and shit overtime. But yeah, another thing I would want to say is that for that, like, she builds her kingdom, yada, yada, yada. She saves a crow, turns into human. You get the gist of it. The other half, I'll let you watch it on your own. Still in theaters, probably two or three more weeks until it gets taken down. Until October, November, out of theaters. And then it goes into Blu-ray DVD. I might try to get it on Blu-ray DVD. We'll see what happens, because it was a phenomenal-ass movie. I would love to watch it again and again if I could. But yeah, other than that, um, what else can I say? You know, um, yeah, the rest, you know, she grows up. And she falls in love with a prince. You pre people pretty much know the rest. Angelina Jolie at the end. Spoiler alerts. Big spoilers. The last two I want to say. Angelina, Angelina Jolie at Kim Maleficent. She ends up like um, kissing Aurora when she gets into the sleep like that. After she pricks her um, finger on that spinning wheel of death or whatever. When she hears these demonic voices and her head to go kill herself or some shit. She pricks her finger and she goes into eternal sleep. And Angelina Jolie brings this, um, what's it called? This prince or whatever. Um, to wake him up. he does, uh, It doesn't work for him like it did in the original 1959 old school animation Disney one for uh, Sleeping Beauty. No. Instead, Angelina Jolie kisses her on the forehead and she wakes up. So it's kind of like another Frozen reference. Some people are going to say, oh, this is empowering lesbianism, the gay, sexual, um, gay, bisexual, transgendered, um, lesbian community or LGBT community and shit. So I'm aware of. I don't really give a shit about that. If it is, hey, more fucking power to them. I don't have no... No issues, no trouble with homosexuals, gays, lesbians, or trans. I'm all cool with them. The only thing is, just as long as they don't talk about, you know, sex and all their little personal shit, I don't want to hear none of that crap, alright? Maybe it's a dude talking about getting girls and getting pussy and shit, that's different. But other than that, you know, keep the other shit away from me. But yeah, I will say this, it's probably been 25, 30 minutes, so forgive me on this long movie review I've been doing. Yeah, after that, he yeah, had the last three main big spoilers. That was that spoiler. The second one is that um, Maleficent, she ends up getting caught in these big giant chains. And this big steel like weakness to fairies or whatever. I don't know, fairy type Pokemon shit. I have no clue. But that's a whole other thing. Pokemon anime is a whole other level. But other than that, um, in the games and shit too. XY for the win. To Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire 2014. Woo! Oh man, I'm still hyped this shit about that. I talk a lot about more on my Nintendo Free channel. You know what I'm talking about if you are subbed to me there. Or if you see my my videos over there. I'm um, sorry, I had to throw that little reference out. But, uh, yeah, there's that. She ends up getting weakness by the steel, whatever, these chains of steel and these big giant steel armor knights. And she turns her little crow servant into a dragon. She says, turn into dragon, form of a dragon. Boom. And then after that, you know, her little uh, European accent or whatever, medieval accent. And he turns into a big-ass giant dragon. That's crazy as fuck. This thing, he's tearing motherfuckers up. He's not as big as, of course, Smaug is, obviously. Or in Pokemon, like Salamence or Dragon. He's not that huge like that. But um, he's he's fairly big, you know. He's pretty damn big. Um, not extremely huge like Smaug is. He's the size of a fucking Empire State Building. Compared to this one, he's only like the size of a I don't know one of the hotels on the Strip out here in Vegas. I don't know. But yeah, a lot of you people know I live in the 702 of Vegas. But other than that, um, what else can I say? You know, there's that ending. She finally gets her wings because Aurora frees her wings after 15 years because the dude, the paranoid psychic psychedelic, insanely psychotic kind of king. He ends up losing control of power, so he gets crazy and psycho and mentally ill and shit, and um, he ends up losing his power, so he uses it as his trophies, her wings. I don't know why the fuck he did that shit for her. Um, after that, what happens is um, she ends up getting her wings back, and she looks straight out like the Matrix. I shit you not. She looks like that girl Trinity from the Matrix. I forgot that girl's name in real life, because I was like 9, 10 years old when that shit came out. 99? No, it was 10. Yeah. But other than that, I will say this. Holy fucking God, man. The way her wings just regenerate and become her host of her body, that shit is cool. Though, especially when she stands up. I'm probably going to be cut halfway. She goes like this. I am Maleficent or some shit like that. <laughs> that was fucking awesome as hell. I'm not going to lie. Um, she ends up putting a big giant hawk wings back again after being dismounted from her after 16 years. She kicks the crap out of every guard in there. 
for the win. I'm like, go Maleficent. You are my bitch, man. For real. You are the girl. You're the HBIC head bitch in charge, bitch. For real. Sorry for, for profanity, but if you have discretion's advice and all I'm related and that shit. Um, yeah, after that, she ends up, like, freeing, um, not freeing, but that guy ends up trying to, like, take her or whatever. Trying to take her off of, like, the guy that was the evil paranoid king. He tries to, like, um, take her, like, put the chains on her, and then he ends up grabbing on her, and then she does this little spiral swirl, like, like this. I don't know how to explain it, like this. Or better yet, like this. It's like a hurricane swirl, like this. <laughs> I'm just using a lot of inanimate objects there. I don't know what's up with me. I'm a little hyped or whatever. But yeah, after that, she smashes into this, like, Catholic stained glass window cathedral wall, and she just smashes the shit out of it after she spirals into it. That was fucking cool as shit. I loved how she flew in this movie. Angelina Jolie, she was epic as fuck on every sense of the word. Every sense of the meaning, literally. After that, that was what took the camera. It was like, holy shit, she actually did it. You go, Jolie. You are a boss, man. Oh, man, I was just so hyped when I saw that shit. That was cool as fuck. And then after that, um, he ends up, like, still trying to grab on the chains or whatever. And then, like, they finally show each other or whatever it is. He goes on this top of the castle of this, like, um, what's it called? Ah, oh, one of the castle rooftops. And then after that, they fight each other. They're punching each other. How's this dude punching a girl? It's fucked up. But, you know, fuck um, political correctness. It's bullshit. It's out the window. But other than that, um, I will say this. Shit kicked a lot of ass. Um, I was very impressed. And then after that, um, one more thing I want to say, he ends up, she ends up accidentally pushing him off the thing or whatever. After she almost, he almost stabs her in the heart real quick, quick, but it was only underneath the spine. Not under the spine, around the hip, like, around abdomen area, so she, he didn't hit no injuries when he stabbed her. Thank goodness he didn't stab her in the heart. I would have been so pissed if she died. And then after that, what happens is, um, they both fall into each other, and, like, um, she flies off finally after, um, he tries to drag her down with her so they could both fall and die. But he ends up falling down and dies at the end. He splats on the floor. It's like, <clears throat> gone. And everyone's all crying. It's all like, no, why did he die? When I was in the theater, it's like, <clears throat> you can go, Angelina Jolie. You go. I literally said that in theaters. And people were looking at me like, are you crazy, dude? This is a kid's movie. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, so what? I don't give a fuck. I told the dude that. He was some douchebag motherfucker. He'd like I didn't kick the shit out of him. But other than that, um, yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, she becomes, Aurora becomes a queen of the fairies and queen of the kingdom. Queen of the fantasy world of fantasy forest of pixies and fairies and shit. And after that, um, Maleficent, she ends up getting her wings back. She flies into the air like Superman and that shit. She was flying through all these mountains and buildings. She was just blowing the shit out of the grass and the trees so hard that they all flew off the mountains. That's how strong her wings were. Literally. She looked like freaking the female version of Superman. She went up into the air into the sunlight where she was gaining her energy or something like that. Many people have ever seen the Superman 2007 edition or the... Man of Steel, how he goes up into the air and gains his energy through solar sunlight and solar panels and shit like that. Epic as shit. Boss as fuck. So fucking tremendous. What a flawless ass movie, but I have to give it a C plus for, like, unfortunately, not that many good acting, like, background acting characters. B plus, or A plus, A triple plus for the music. The score in this movie, absolutely fucking phenomenal. On every fucking meaning and every term of the, every definition of the word. Fucking phenomenal. Epic as hell. That's how good the score was. Um, the music was really awesome. Um, what else? Character design was alright. Um, the CGI was like a B- minus because it was like a little glitchy. And um, what else can I say? The action was pretty decent. It wasn't there 100%. There were 50%. I love that they used the magical powers, especially how Maleficent. She put people to sleep. She changes like animals into different forms. Even though it's a good thing or a demon, angel, demon, whatever shit. It's kind of like angels and demons type of shit. But yeah. Really overall amazing, attractive, fucking awesome movie. I hope Angelina Jolie makes more Disney movies like this. Even though she makes a lot of action movies or romance movies. This is really awesome. A really good step in the direction for her career. Even though she's already a legend in Hollywood. But that's all I have to say for now. I know it's extremely dark. You probably can only see my eyes and my hat. I apologize for that. But like I always do say, it is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys every day. Have a good night. We're right around the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't try to reckless. See you soon. See you around. Peace out. Let's goodbye. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right? Deuces. I'm out of here. Let's goodbye. And um, probably the last time I'm going to be seeing a movie in about two, three months. Maybe. We'll see about happens. We'll see about that. I'll still be doing a speed run either in uh, August. Yeah, August. I was going to say July for my Pokemon Flash Fire shit. I need people don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, these code cards and shit here. Don't bother getting this thing because it's already gone. Let me show you. Hold on. Before I end this video, this right here. 
Yeah, there's some flash fire I'm going to be um, showing you guys. Like all the cards I collected in August. So in about a month and uh, two weeks from now, you'll see that from now. Late, goodbye. I'm gone and I'll talk to you soon, all right? Take care, stay safe, be easy, and take it easy, everyone. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gone and see you later.